Okay, hi, hello. So, uh, in this video, I'm going to explain to you how uh, to use, and this is Ryan Ahmed with you, of course. Uh, this is how uh, to do scripting using XML, RI, uh, BCL, XML scripting for ILO uh, interface. Okay, and we're going to learn in this video how to uh, boot an ISO image. Okay, now for security reasons, I can't show you. Uh, some of the passwords okay but just understand I'm gonna pause the video and uh, do some changes okay just understand and uh, you know do your uh, work okay so um, first of all you look for this page okay I, uh, from HPE okay now you don't you go down and make sure that revision history is the latest check here the uh, uh, you know uh, the uh, date and uh, click the download button okay you'll download this file it's a compressed file okay containing so many scripts uh, in XML and it's very important that you download the f uh, the HP file okay uh, the scripting command line guide for the ILO uh, I have here the one for version 4 of ILO this one uh, you can find for version 5 currently it's on version 5 okay so and also uh, for uh, there is a script that will come with the file with a uh, compressed file uh, that's this file okay uh, it's called uh, here it's mentioned called LOCFG this is the script uh, written in Perl programming language scripting language also and um, uh, we're going to use it just to read some XML scripts, okay? Um, or XML files. I have uh, expanded the file and contains all these. Now we open this sample scripts, this one text file, and if you open it, it will give you each script. What does it do? Each XML script. What does it do? See the names, everything. From all of this, all we want is the one that's called insert uh, virtual media because this is the one we need to boot uh, an image. All the rest is not needed actually, okay? The rest can you do on uh, the web interface, it's easier, okay? But we do this only just for one reason. Like we want to uh, boot, do an, uh, an unattended installation of so many machines of the same uh, distribution of Linux, for example, okay? Or maybe you have the uh, SPP uh, service pack for Proliant, you have downloaded it and you want to install it, uh, run it on uh, many computers at the same time. Okay, so you update the ILO uh, firmware. Next, now, uh, you open this file. Uh, once you open it uh, with any editor, okay, here for example, uh, look it up. See, they are, uh, you order them by, or sort, of them, sort them by, uh, by name if you open it with your editor for example here I have Kate okay or uh, anyway so you'll find this line like this okay and this is of course the location of your uh, uh, of your uh, ISO file uh, on the web server okay and here it's mentioned it like it's a floppy floppy means it can be a uh, uh, a USB flash disk or it can be like uh, uh, something like with the FAT32 FAT or FAT16 uh, file system. Now if you want to have it as a uh, like a DVD uh, with an ISO 9660 uh, file system okay so I have to change this this I mean this floppy device equal floppy to device equal CD-ROM okay so and after researching more, okay, you want to make this ISO bootable. So uh, after reading the, this uh, file, okay, the PDF file, you'll reach uh, to to this point where you change the uh, change that that file, this file, the uh, original file, insert me virtual media to a new XML file from your own. You make it. Uh, put here your uh, username and password for the administrator. Okay. So I put here as administrator, and of course the password you change it. Now, and here set the VM status for the device of the CD-ROM. If it were the floppy, you do it for the floppy. Here you make you connect the device, the floppy disk, the CD-ROM as I mean, 
you boot it as one just once you don't make it as an always as we said in previous uh, videos okay uh, uh, make it right protect of course yes you don't wanna want it uh, writable okay and you save the file okay now if regarding the Perl script okay the LO CFG uh, you must install uh, some uh, prerequisites uh, on your Debian system uh, which is here you go and I just gathered them because uh, when I used when I uh, run it uh, it used to complain okay or it's complained directly doesn't that use <laughs> it complain so this is the command you write this command exactly find those packages and install them okay go as root and install these uh, uh, packages and then uh, once you do that this is the folder where I have uh, on this part where I have uh, uh, the LOCFG. So chmod, chmod plus x, okay, LOCFG. And then you can just uh, do the following, which is dot slash LOCFG minus s the IP of the server. And then. Um, uh, minus F the script, okay, and which is insert uh, with wood, okay, and look, uh, if you want to write just for the sake of scripting and do it for so many machines, okay, at the same time, where, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, okay. So uh, the password you will say you of course you will have to unify the password amongst all the servers to make it easier for you, okay? And put the username and password as I said inside the uh, side here. Now of course you can use the username and password directly from here, like administrator like this. Minus P and type the password whatever, okay? And uh, and yeah, and uh, that's it. Okay, so it will ex execute the uh, the file now. And the, this username password here, the mentioning of them here, it will override the things that are mentioned inside the XML file. Okay, I mean the uh, the username and password over here will be overridden. And if you don't type them, if you omit this like this, okay, this means that you want to use it uh, this way. Yeah, using this way okay now um, uh, now I'm gonna uh, run it as such okay just to show you it's working okay so it says the script failed this means that you have made a login failed Okay, now I'm gonna uh, pause and change my password uh, inside the file, put the password inside the file. Now proceeding with the video and uh, here I'm gonna just like this, okay, and track. See, so script succeeded. Now I'm gonna go into smash a CLI and see what has happened, okay. So cd slash uh, map uh, one slash uh, o e m h p v m one cd drive one. Okay. Now if I say show, see there is a there is a DVD. Okay. Now uh, let's uh, let no, let's now uh, disconnect it. Okay. Let's go now and uh, disconnect the uh, DVD. Okay. So um, I'm gonna pause just to delete the password from the file and uh, gonna show you the other file that uses the, the, that ejects the uh, the CD and changes this to disconnect. Now uh, we go to the uh, other file, which is this one, eject virtual media. Okay, I'm gonna pause just in case the password is there. Okay, now uh, we see that you have to put the username, 
and password and please mention here whether it's a dvd rom or a, uh, i mean a cd rom or a floppy okay so i'm gonna pause now again and gonna put the username and password and just to show you what has happened okay uh, what will happen so we're proceeding with the recording and now we can uh, go as such and uh, go use the eject okay track track succeeded etc now uh, we go th uh, here inside the uh, the smash okay uh, it's still there by the way I do not exit it it's still in the same place and I'll type show and see no boot no nothing see nothing is there so there's no boot no nothing nothing else okay so this is how we uh, configure the ILO to make it boot an ISO image for us okay uh, and that's it I'm gonna stop here with the series okay I uh, hope that you enjoyed this now uh, just uh, I'm gonna pause a little bit just to show you uh, what you should do for so many uh, computers okay at the same time So, uh, now with our script here, okay, this one, okay, what you have to do is make a script like in shell, something like similar to this. Let's see, let's take the other one. Like many, I call it like uh, Pico, uh, many servers not as such and do something like uh, an array of uh, of IPs okay something like this uh, list uh, service list equals like for example let's say 192.168.1.5 uh, 192.168.1.60 okay then whatever I have three at least for example let's say I have this now uh, if I do and shell like this for a server IP and server dollar server list uh, do let's say just for the sake of it just echo uh, dollar server IP as a test first just to make sure that the while loop is working or the for loop here is working correctly okay and uh, then done okay Now chmod plus x uh, many. I do type many. Okay. Okay, there's just a simple thing maybe here. I have to look up how the for loops are done. I don't use so many times uh, shell, but just it's a simple thing I know. Okay, uh, shell for uh, loop words. Okay, list of strings. Okay. Yeah, 
so uh, here same thing yeah I've done that so I'll do something wrong so yeah <coughs> Yeah, it should do it. I'm not sure what's, what's wrong, why it's not uh, doing it. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I found it. It was just a like, little type of servers, this one. Servers, this, this, so... Control X, yes. Okay, let's make sure. Yeah, so that's it. It's just a typo. So it printed all those. So this means that you can just simply, if you want, okay, behind this or after this, okay, just type this, okay, and type here, for example, instead of this IP, dollar uh, server IP, and then don't forget to do one thing you have to do a normal reboot of the servers okay uh, they, if you are sure that they they, they contain an, uh, a normal operating normally working operating system okay so type ssh okay uh, for example root at uh, server ip and uh, put the command reboot okay let them reboot sequentially one by one okay to make sure that those uh, are running correctly okay uh, and that's it and remember that the login to you to those servers has to be without a password also like i have done with the first uh, uh with the first video okay uh, about uh, our with the video i mean uh, about uh, the uh login without a password with the smash uh, cli okay and uh, thanks for watching that's it